Unit 1 Test 1. Let's listen. People are talking about their weekends. What did each person not do over the weekend? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Desmond I watched TV and played computer games all weekend. I had a great time because there was a big soccer match on the Spanish Channel. It was really exciting. I just love soccer. And my new computer game was fun. It's very challenging. 2. Yolanda I had a terrific weekend. I went out to dinner with Rob, you know, the guy in history class. We went to a disco and danced all night long. It was a lot of fun. 3. Chuck Well, I was going to catch up on my schoolwork, but I spent most of the weekend playing soccer. I play with a neighborhood team. The rest of the weekend, I just hung out with my friends. 4. Erica Well, my friends and I were going to go rollerblading in the park, but the weather was bad, so we went to the shopping mall instead. I got this jacket. Isn't it great? Then we went out for dinner. 5. Gary I visited my sister and her family. We had a great home-cooked dinner. Then I took the kids to see the new animation film. We all loved it. 2. Let's listen. Brad is telling his friend about his weekend. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. Hi, Brad. How was your weekend? It was pretty disappointing. I wanted to go to a movie on Saturday night with my girlfriend, but she got sick. So I rented some videos and watched them at home. It was really boring. That's too bad. What did you do on Sunday? Well, I wanted to play tennis with my brother, but as soon as we got ready to go, it started to rain. We didn't want to play tennis in the rain, so we stayed home and played computer games instead. That sounds okay. Not really. I hate computer games. I think they're boring. Oh, well. I hope next weekend is more exciting. Thanks. Me too. Unit 2 Test 1. Let's listen. Mr. McCabe is calling to reserve a taxi. What information does he give and receive? Listen and write the correct answer. Good afternoon, City Taxis. Hello, this is Thomas McCabe. I'd like to reserve a taxi to the airport for tomorrow morning. Certainly, Mr. McCabe. Is that for Midway Airport or O'Hare? Midway. Okay, and what time is your flight? It's at 8.40. Okay, so we will be picking you up at 6.30 in the morning. Where will you be? Here, at my house. That's 343 West Oak. Okay, we'll send taxi number 90 to your house at 6.30. Oh, how much is the fare? It's $25. We take cash or credit cards. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. 2. Let's listen. A TV reporter is interviewing people about taxi service in different cities in the United States. What is the taxi service like in each city? Listen and check the correct answer. Today we are asking people all over the U.S. how they feel about the taxi service in their city. First, we go to Ray in Bloomington, Indiana. What do you think of the taxi service in Bloomington, Ray? Well, it's not bad. I don't use taxis very often, but if I have to go to the airport or something, they're always on time and the drivers are careful and polite. The only problem is that they are expensive. In general, though, the taxi service is okay. Now we go to Maureen in Amherst, Massachusetts. How do you feel about the taxis in Amherst? I've taken taxis in a lot of different cities, so I know that the taxis here are very good. The cars are often new and they're always very clean. The drivers are polite and they drive carefully. I always feel safe when I'm in a taxi here. That's good to hear. And now we go to Ahmed in New York City. The situation with taxis here in New York is not so good. 
The fares are high, so I can't take a taxi very often. And the cars are old, and some of them don't have air conditioning. The drivers are generally good, but they don't understand English very well, which is a problem sometimes. There's definitely room for improvement. Thank you, Ahmed. And now we go to Larry in Honolulu. How are the taxis out in Hawaii? Awful. I mean, the drivers are not careful at all, and the fares are really high. Sometimes I think the drivers add a little bit to the fare. That's not right. Hmm, I see. Finally, we go to Patricia in San Francisco. What's the situation there? The cars are comfortable and usually clean, and most of the drivers are friendly and helpful. I haven't ever had a bad taxi experience here. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Thanks to all of you. Unit 3 Test 1. Let's listen. People are renting vehicles. Why does each person need to rent a vehicle? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Good morning. Can I help you, sir? Yes. I'd like to rent a large, roomy vehicle for three days. Okay. Are you moving to a new apartment? No, I'm just going on a weekend trip with my family. Well, I think you'd be most comfortable in a minivan. Is that okay? Sure. 2. Can I help you? Yes, I need to rent a car this week while I'm here for a conference. Well, we have several different small cars available. Would you like a Volkswagen Beetle or a sports car? A sports car? Sounds fun. I'll try it. 3. My husband and I would like to rent a car this Saturday. We're in town for a friend's wedding. What kind of car do you suggest? I think a medium-sized one would be fine. Okay, we'll take it. Thank you. Four. Hello, how can I help you? Well, my business partners and I are moving to our new office this weekend, and we need to rent something big enough for us to move everything. In that case, I think a large truck will be best for you. That sounds perfect. Thank you. Five. My roommate and I would like to rent a vehicle this Sunday. Okay. What kind of vehicle do you need? Well, we're moving to a new apartment. We don't have a lot of stuff, mostly books and clothes, and a computer and stereo and television. A small truck should work just fine. Okay. Thank you. Two, let's listen. Ms. Streeter is renting a car. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. Hello, Ms. Streeter. I see you reserved a small car. We can upgrade you to a medium-sized car if you like. Oh, how much will that cost? Just another $10 a day. Well, I do have a lot of luggage. Yes, I'll take the medium-sized car. Okay, and let's see, you're down for two days. But we have a three-day special right now. Your third day is absolutely free. Well, that's nice, but I'm only in town for two days. Oh, I see. Well, you also have the option of getting extra insurance. Would you... No. I'm a very careful driver, so I don't need insurance. Just the car, please. Okay. But before you go, would you like to join our rental club? If you join, the next time you rent a car, it will be ready for you when you arrive at the rental location. You mean I don't have to stand here and answer a lot of questions? That's right. Okay, I'll join. Where do I sign? Unit 4, Test. 1. Let's listen. People are inviting friends to an event. What kind of event is each invitation for? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Hey, Kira. Are you free tomorrow afternoon? Yes. Why? Well, I'm having a few friends over. The weather is great now, so we're going to grill some steaks in the backyard. Oh, that sounds like fun. What time? Any time after 1 o'clock would be fine. See you then. Two. Hi, Mike. 
I'm calling to invite you to a party for my parents next Saturday. Can you come? Let's see. Next Saturday. Yeah, I can make it. What kind of party is it? Well, it's their 30th wedding anniversary. They think that I've forgotten about it, but I haven't. I'm going to throw them a big party. Just don't forget. If you see them before the party, don't say anything about it. 3. Hi, Alice. Would you like to come over for dinner on Sunday? It's going to be very casual. We're just asking everyone to bring their favorite dish. Wow, that sounds wonderful. I'd love to come. I'll make my famous brownies. Sounds great. See you on Sunday. 4. Hi, Jim. It's Dana. Hi, Dana. Listen, can you come to Carla's party tonight? She's turning 30, you know. So we're getting her a big cake with 30 candles on it. Dana, I'm sorry. I don't feel too well. I have the flu. Oh, that's too bad. You should stay home and get some rest then. 5. Hi, Becky. Can you come to a party at my place on Saturday? Sure. What kind of party? Oh, nothing special. I just feel like getting some people together. I'll make the food ahead of time and set it out on my big dining room table, and everyone can just eat whatever they want, whenever they want. That sounds great. Thanks for inviting me. 2. Let's listen. People are describing parties they gave recently. What happened at each party? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I had a surprise party for my girlfriend's 25th birthday last week. I invited her friends from work and the gym. Sue loves music, so we listened to lots of different music all night. I don't cook, so there wasn't much food. I did make her birthday cake, though. Chocolate with chocolate frosting, her favorite. We didn't play any party games because she hates that stuff. 2. I gave a party last month that started out terribly. It was an outdoor barbecue, but it started to rain and all the food got wet. I had to order pizzas instead. Well, I didn't order enough, so everyone was hungry. I was so upset, but we all laughed about it later. We had a good time as we chatted all night. We didn't dance, thank goodness. I'm a really terrible dancer. 3. I organized a goodbye party for my boss at work. At the last minute, my office mate forgot to order pizza, so we all bought snacks from the vending machines. We went into his office and sang, for he's a jolly good fellow. Then we just sat around and chatted for a while. It won't be the same around here without him. 4. I had a potluck party last week. I love hosting potluck dinners because I don't have to cook. Instead, everyone brings their favorite dish and gets to eat lots of great food. There wasn't any dancing or party games because I think the best party is one where there's just good people and great food. 5. My roommate and I gave a party for our friends last night. It was a lot of fun. We listened to a lot of great music and danced all night. People seemed to really enjoy it, even though there wasn't much to eat. People didn't talk too much either. They just enjoyed the dancing. Damn. Uh.